This video is about love. This video is about beat sticks. Well, when you try your beat sticks, you're gonna fall in love with them. Okay, let's get to the point here. What is a beat stick? Let us explain it in the words of love. L stands for leftovers. Our beet stick is made from beetroots that would have come to waste otherwise. These beetroots come from Orkla, where they form a big side stream in the production. 450,000 kilograms of beetroots per year are sorted out due to aesthetical reasons. With our product being made of 77% from beetroots, these beetroots can be rescued from going to waste. And that means our beet stick is literally life-saving. O oh, for only heating. Our beet sticks are a convenient snack that you can prepare at home in just a few minutes using your oven or a frying pan. Convenience is important to many consumers right now, as we're seeing a steady increase in ready to eat food markets. V for versatile in use. It's a snack, it's a side dish, it's a wrap filling, it's a salad topping. Simply, it's more than just a snack. Make it do whatever you want it to be. E for extraordinary flavor. The three layers in our beetroot stick gives it a full and satisfying taste and texture. Earthy beetroots together with creamy goat cheese surrounded by a crunchy beetroot coating gives it a purple and crisp texture. This product will revolutionize the freezers in the supermarket. It is a convenient and more sustainable snack and yet it has a gourmetish flavor. Now I guess you're interested how it is made. So here in our test kitchen, our product developers are working on a masterpiece, the beet stick. So here we have Matilda and Essie, two of our product developers, and they're right now assembling some of the beet sticks. Could you tell us what you're doing exactly? Yes, hi Fabienne. So, I'm currently shaping some beet sticks. This is our beetroot mixture. It consists of shredded beetroot, wheat flour, and some simple spices. But before we can mix all the ingredients together, we need to press out a lot of water from the beets to get the right consistency. And the pressing also results in this delicious beetroot juice. All right, that sounds great. Should I try? For sure. And what's the white part? Oh, that's the goat cheese filling. All that remains now is to run it up like this. So, before this beetroot stick is ready to go into the fryer, it needs to be coated. Let's go check out how we make our beetroot coating. Here we have Jesse, one of our product developers. Jesse, can you tell us a bit about how the coating is made? Yes, of course. So during the dehydration process, the shredded beetroot I have here loses water, resulting in the development of hardened beetroot pieces. Now I will put them in the oven. Here's where the magic happens. Our expert hands take the crumbs and roll our beet stick into perfection. The crumbs will adhere to the stick, creating a satisfying crunch in every bite. Now the sticks are ready to get fried. Now that the sticks are fried and crispy, we just let them cool and freeze them. And that is how the consumers will meet their beet sticks in the store. Alright, it's time to work our magic with these frozen beet sticks. Shall we put them in the pan? Yes, you got it, chef. are changing shades here. It's like they're getting tanned. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's not just about color and texture, it's also about unlocking those flavors within. Nicely done. Well, flipping beet sticks is my hidden talent. Watch out world. They're now ready for tasting. Wow. Now all that is left is to eat. It's for the way you look at me. Oh, it's for the only Cheers. V is very, very extraordinary. E 
is even more than anyone that you adore can love is all that i can give to you love is more than just a game for two two in love can make it take my heart and please don't break it love was made for me and you 